Welcome to Bilingual Analytics. It's me, Roland, and today we're going to have a look at your data in Facebook. <coughs> data and Facebook may not be the best combination of words nowadays. However, in this video, I'm going to focus on how to visualize data from your Facebook profile in Power BI. I don't want to go into the details of data leaks or alleged data leaks and all of that. And the best part is, I'm not even going to mention you know who. The plan for today's video is just to have some fun, explore your Facebook profile, and just to have a better understanding of what kind of data or information Facebook stores about us. Feel free to download the file, create your own report, and maybe Talk to your kids about the concerns regarding excessive social media usage. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. Let me start with a quick guide on how to export your data. Once you log into Facebook, head over to your account, then settings and privacy and settings. Then you have to click on your Facebook information and download your information. We want to export all data for all time periods, so select all of my data. Format should be JSON. I personally found it easier to use in Power BI, and I'm going to select low media quality. The reason for that is I don't really need my pictures to be downloaded in high quality for this exercise. And then we can click on create file. In a couple of minutes or hours, depending on file sizes, you will receive an email from Facebook that your copy is available. It will look something like this. Now head back to Facebook, click on available copies and download the file. As you can see on my screen, there will be quite a few folders with lots of data. Are you surprised how much information Facebook has about you? Just remember, all of this was shared by the user, so you and me. We shared all of this information with Facebook. I'm pretty sure that these data sets worth a couple of bucks. For the sake of this video, I'm only going to use the following folders. Friends, posts, comments, likes and reactions, check-ins or location and marketplace. Of course, feel free to export the rest of these folders as you might come across something that would potentially be interesting for you. In the comments folder, we have a JSON file that we downloaded. And if we open it, you will see it's not very useful. It is just a bunch of string combined in a way that's in line with the JSON format. But the most important thing is that Power BI can easily handle this format. I usually start a report with planning the layout in Power BI. Once I'm happy with the way how my visuals are going to be placed and the number of them, I start to think about the color scheme. As the Facebook logo is blue and white, I knew that my background should be in line with that. So I opened PowerPoint to design a background. This step can be done in Power BI as well. However, if we create a background image instead of multiple shapes, we can speed up our report. Which color goes well with blue? Orange and different shades of orange. And to spice it up, I also added some effects to those shapes. I have plans to post two more videos about report design. So at this stage, let's just skip to the next part. This is going to be a bit boring because now I'm going to import all these files to Power BI. So let me speed it up. There are three or four things that you are probably interested in, and maybe it was a bit too quick with the hyperspeed. Yes, I used a custom calendar table, a piece of Power Query code that I used to convert JSON timestamp to proper date format, adding an extra side table as emojis to use instead of just the name of the reactions, and finally, 
how to download and personalize this report. You can find all the answers for those questions in my blog. I put the link down below in the description. And this is it. I like this view, not too much info on a single report page, but shows more than enough. I also want you to be conscious about what to share today. So what do we have here? On the top, there is a quick summary for friends, posts, comments, and check-ins. On the left, with these emojis, the number of likes and reactions I give to others. We have two combo charts showing yearly and cumulative numbers of friends and number of posts. Top right visual is a summary about the items I posted to Facebook Marketplace. And bottom right is a map with check-in locations. Of course, if I want to slice the report to a certain year, I can do that by clicking on the bar and all other report elements are going to adjust as well. These folders that I used only represent a couple of data points that Facebook has about us. I honestly believe that this is a good exercise to replicate this report for your Facebook profile just to see how much information Facebook stores about you, which they may be able to use, share or sell. Maybe it can change your or your kids' online behavior and just have a better understanding about privacy concerns. It certainly helped me a lot to understand a little bit more about one of the biggest issues with social media usage, which is oversharing. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial about Facebook data visualization with Power BI. If you liked the video, hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a new video. Stay tuned for more to come. See ya!